Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I'm perfectly fine if you want to delay this a cycle. I'm a bit confused about something I heard um, with regard to the city attorneys continuing negotiate to continuing to negotiate with the petitioners. Um, why are the city attorneys negotiating with the petitioners? Our city attorneys are supposed to be not political, nonpartisan staff. They're supposed to be the ones writing this. They shouldn't be negotiating with anyone. The facts are the facts. I'm. I mean. I, I know I understand that maybe my colleagues would prefer to reinforce the fact that law enforcement isn't just kind of maybe a thing <laughs> that it would will be included, but the petitioners are pretty clear that they only want it if necessary. That's the difference between my colleagues um, petition or your petition. I don't mean to speak to all of you and the activist petition. So I'm a little alarmed that I'm hearing that the city attorney is negotiating with the petitioners over the language. And I'm interested in if the city attorney could tell me if they're also negotiating with the charter amendment on their petition. And I I'm confused by this. I thought that the petition that the citizens put together was clear. Uh, it would eliminate the police department. It would create a department of public safety. It would eliminate the minimum staffing. Um, take that out of the charter, that's all good, and that there might be law enforcement if necessary, not that there will be law enforcement. So the language seems pretty clear to me. I don't know why Councilmember Gordon doesn't want to have the explanation there. It seems like we have to explain it. Maybe my colleague's petition would have been better. Um, it probably would have provided some assurance to a very nervous general public, but you guys just voted to withdraw yours. So I don't think you get to withdraw yours and then make theirs something it's not. And I definitely don't think that the activist should be telling the city attorney what the ballot language can be. So I guess my question is, can the city attorney please clarify if they're actually negotiating with the petitioners and if they'll also be negotiating with the Charter Commission on their amendments? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Councilmember Goodman. Uh, if someone from the city attorney's office uh, does want to address that question, they are invited to do so. But in the meantime, uh, I will call on Councilmember Schrader to see if he wants to clarify his comments. Yes, please do. I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, uh, Councilmember Goodman, uh, negotiation was a wrong term, um, but I also would say that uh, your framing of this is also in inaccurate. Like under state law, we will be we are required to have law enforcement to do very specific tasks, tasks that we will continue to do in the city. So I would say it is a stretch to say that the citizen petition is maybe going to have police officers. We will continue to have law enforcement. We will continue to need law enforcement in the city. And, and that much is is very clear. I, the What the um, city attorney uh, will be discussing uh, with the citizen group is just the best way to clear up a lot of the confusion that we're, we're seeing here in this discussion. What is going to be the most clear way to talk with voters and so they understand, you know, full ramifications uh, of what they'll be voting for and to make that clear. And I think we saw a little bit of that also in the explanatory note. It just got longer and longer and longer as you try to distinguish between an amendment that calls for a new department that reports to the mayor and works like every other department in the city and an amendment that does the exact same thing. So it really, a lot of this confusion has come about because of the, they're really parsing words and parsing um, different language that comes, that means the exact same thing. Thank you. Uh, I don't see anyone else in queue to speak. Is there any more discussion on this item? Council Member Palmasano. Mr. Chair, thank you. I do want to point out though that to me, and please correct me to the authors of the Charter Amendment if I'm wrong, but the the Charter Amendment as submitted by three council member authors said shall include law enforcement in their charter proposal. The petition, the petitioner's proposal said may. And the big difference is I understood it between these two amendments, both the Yes for Minneapolis campaign and the one from my colleagues was one of permissive language or not. So if that is no longer the case, then I guess I don't understand why um, it seems like we would be trying to merge these two things together. I also appreciate that given the circumstances of this um, intent to remove, um, 
the the charter amendment being brought forward by our colleagues at this point, um, we might need a bit more time to make sure that that language is appropriate, but I need to absolutely make it clear that our job here is not one of uh, support for a particular amendment, but is one to make sure that there is an absolute line between what the petitioners got their petition successfully um, that signatured for and what this ballot language says and no more. Our job here is one of a legal duty, not of negotiation. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Schrader. Sure, I just want to respond to that. I think the while the may versus shall legal argument is is a valid one, it's not here. I, the main point is being clear with voters, regardless of how you feel uh, about this amendment. We want to be absolutely clear what the reality will be if they vote yes or if they vote no. And the reality is, uh, even with a may. Um, wording instead of a shall, uh, we will continue to have law enforcement. We will continue to have law enforcement um, as long as we have have crime in the city. And until we have a different response, which many of us are working to build, but that will take time, um, we will continue to have law enforcement. So to have, uh, I, I think to to push more on and stress the may that people may get back is exactly the kind of fear that Council Member Goodman was talking about. Like we are, we need to talk about the reality, about what people will see if they vote for this amendment. And the vote, is, the reality is we will continue to have law enforcement. Uh, we will, we need that in the city. So I think that that, uh, I get that questioning, but that really is about being honest with voters. 